Are you gonna eat this guy? Grilled dough. Sounds like a dildo. Grilled the dildo. It's a grilled dough. <laughs> What's your problem? Which, by the way, I don't know if you guys can tell by the title of today's video. Guys, I'm trying to be on theme, which my fiance is hella judging me. I thought it was a cute outfit, and he goes, it's on theme. And I was like, that's your compliment of the morning? Why did you put on any purple makeup? <laughs> Look like the Joker. Her name's not the Joker. Her name is Harlequin, and it's called oh, Birds of Prey. Get it right, Why get it tight. So today, I am going to be attempting the eating only purple food. 24 hours. I feel like this is my first color challenge since moving into this new place, which I'm kind of excited because I feel like, well, there's only one thing that's going to be really different. I have a, I have a griddle. Is it called a griddle? I remember in my house reveal, I called it a girdle and people were like, or no, is this a girdle and a griddle? No, this is a griddle, a pancake griddle. And <laughs> you called that something weird? And then I said, no, it's a girdle. And we were both wrong. So we were both idiotas. I it real. Oh, and I called it a girdle, but it's neither. It's a griddle. Watch me get it wrong again for the what third it, time. What is it? A griddle, a pancake oh, griddle. No, griddle. Grilled dough. Sounds like a dildo. <laughs> you like grill the dildo. It's a grill dough. <laughs> what? You can't drink coffee today? Why? There's no purple coffee out there. You know the worst part is he's laughing while he makes him a cup of coffee. It's a bajillion Wait, degrees. Does Starbucks have purple coffee? I don't think they do like purple drink anymore. I broke my phone, so I went and got a new phone. This is what happened. So essentially, I went to Apple, but I went after I went to Bath and Body Works to get a bunch of candles. And when I got a bunch of candles, I got a heavy ass bag full of candles. So I get into Apple and I put it down as I'm picking up the order. Is somebody trying to steal it? No, I put the bag down in front of the guy, the Apple guy, who's like giving me all my stuff, all the information, giving me the SIM card. I was there for like 30 minutes with him, right? And I guess he never saw the Bath and Body Works bag on the ground, which by the way, he was an Asian pertinent to the story. And so at the end, he gives me all the phones and the SIM cards because he got one too, right? And I put it in my bag and then I reached down to grab the Bath and Body Works bag because I'm leaving and it's in between us. So the Apple guy is here, my Bath and Body Works bag, which by the way is a big bag. It's not a small bag and it's blue and white and it has pink letters on it that say Bath and Body Works B. It's not the bits part. It's in the middle. Uh -huh. <laughs> put the iPhones away. And I say thank you so much. And I go to grab the bag like this. And this man, this white man, goes, You're welcome. And I go, oh, <laughs> and I grab no my way, bag. Wow. Have a nice day. <laughs> I don't think it's racist because, I mean, technically, he was trying to be polite. It's definitely natural, like, and then I go, <laughs> even lower. You did not outbow me, not today. <laughs> it was a very awkward experience, especially because the minute he saw my bag lift up, I saw the panic in his eyes. I swear to you, every single time I go to Apple, some weird shit happens because the last couple of times I went, well, the guy told me his underwear color, yeah. and I was like, I don't need to know your underwear was, color. Was the guy literally trying to be politically correct? I think so. He was like, oh, snap. And then he got up and was like, oh, snap, I'm a racist. <laughs> <laughs> I bet he must have time to go bow to him. You should just go, yeah, yeah, and there you go, yeah. And it's never like a, unless you're like meeting someone very important, it's usually like a, like a dab, but like without the arms. It wasn't that I was offended, I was just so uncomfortable because I knew he was uncomfortable. So I didn't feel the need to say like, oh, you don't have to do all of that because I think I saw it in his eyes that he was like, I didn't have to do all of that. You're right. You're dismissed. <laughs> so I'm actually going to be making some purple pancakes. I've decided that today's, today I'm going to win this, I'm going to win this challenge. I'm going in with the pancakes. So we've got this, which is this organic Sunday Stacks pancake mix. And I'm gonna add this in. This is a naked bright beet instead of water. And it has like this beautiful purple color, which I think will obviously be a little bit less dark once I add it with, with some pancake mix. And I think it'll taste delicious. So it says, I'm thinking should I do for six pancakes or for 22 pancakes? Let's do six pancakes because I don't wanna fuck it up, okay? If the color doesn't turn out well. I'm just gonna replace the milk and the yogurt with this. And I'm gonna get the butter and I'm gonna get the egg in here. I do think it's gonna be less fluffy if I don't use the yogurt. Ooh, let me whisk it. Don't be pink. Please be purple. What is this bullshit? What is this bullshit? Oh God, it smells like beets. It's not purple. 
I'm gonna try one more thing, or two more things. I'm gonna make all the pancakes, okay? That's some weird ass bubble tea. Can I get that real quick? Me on my Tinder profile when I say I'm curvy. <laughs> She's square, bits. This is a weird ass cup. This is freaking cute. Good thing I ordered it because um, it didn't turn out purple. What's your problem? <laughs> Is it a food coloring? No. Wait, what is it that color? With that food coloring. What, what did you use? I added beet juice. Da da da, beet juice. Da da da, boyfriend. With that da da da, bit. Loser. Now I'm gonna add. Blue. <laughs> you gotta add coral milk tea. Yes. This is your second attempt. Yeah. Oh, oh, can you show my work. And then we know that's purple. Yeah, but that's what I said about the bee juice. So instead of adding milk, mm -hmm. you add milk tea. Yeah. That oh, is very yeah. creative. Honestly, I'm a genius. Then I don't get enough credit in this house. Okay, honey. Um. It's brown. Food coloring? You want me to do food yeah. coloring? Butter! I gotta melt it. This is a lot of work. Let's try some blue. You know what makes purple? Honey, it's green now! Shit. <laughs> you know what makes purple? Do you want me to add the butter to the new batch? Do you want to start fresh? No, add it in here. Oh god. What do you see? I see um, Halloween brown doo doo. What do you mean it's not purple? It's str it's definitely purple. It's just not purple. Honey, it's this is purple. Honey, this is purple. Oh, it's getting purple. It wasn't purple, I swear. <laughs> Anyways, pop tart. Now it's time to use this griddle. I've never used a griddle before. Also me touching it to make sure it's on. That's a really bad idea. Don't do that. <laughs> Honey, I turned it on. Okay. <laughs> it's warm like my heart. Aww. So it's ice cold and it's broken. Remember I used to make your pancake? You never made me pancake. <gasps> oh yeah. Hello sister, you are on vlog. Do I need to put butter on a pancake griddle? I would think so, yeah. Do you make pancakes? I right never, so don't trust what I have to say. She never made pancakes? She said don't trust what she has to say. You've got an audience, babe, don't f*** it up. It. You've got a big audience. Okay, this is just a test run, okay? The, he didn't say that, he said this is his only run. <laughs> This pretty much sums up my familial relationship, guys. <laughs> my sister's fiance is FaceTiming with my sister, or well, they're FaceTiming me together. And he goes, wait, what are they doing? Are they making purple pancakes? And he, she goes, yeah, because they're children. <laughs> are trying to show you guys how purple this pancake is. Also, we have some purple Pop-Tarts. I'm just realizing that this is not only purple pancakes, but it's actually taro milk tea pancake, yeah. which is even weirder. I think it might taste really good. Okay, so smell-wise, it smells really good, but... Mm. Wow. Milk what? tea pancakes has to be like a thing. Can I have them? Mm -hmm. Wow, you can taste the taro. It's amazing! Especially at the end. This is literally the best pancake I've ever had. I can't believe that we made something purple that's I don't not even normally need purple. Yeah, because the taro milk tea made it extra sweet. So guys, here's the recipe, okay? <laughs> An entire bottle of food coloring. <laughs> okay, let me compare it to the Pop-Tart. Which, by the way, today, I feel like I relate really heavily, like soul-wise, to a Pop-Tart. Just like body-wise. Oh my god, babe, your pancake destroys Pop-Tart. Mm. Holy cow, this Pop-Tart does not taste good compared to this pancake. The consistency, it's light and fluffy. It's super fluffy. Yeah, it's very bouncy. Tell me more. It's almost like a taro crepe. Continue. Okay, I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> this is so good. Love you. Hi guys, I'm at Target. 
god originally i wasn't supposed to come to target and i know what you're thinking is there even more purple food at target than any other supermarket wouldn't it have been better to go to a ralph's maybe an h Mart, possibly a whole foods yes you could say that i saw a lot of people do the purple challenge and i want to call them like the purple gang the purple crew there's got to be a name for it there was a heavy amount of purple instant rice mixed with squid and that's just not something that i would like to consume right now in this moment today so i decided bits you better take advantage of it is spooky season it's halloween <laughs> and it's not just approaching it's been here specifically this target i think has had spooky season out for like the past two months with pumpkin spice everything out but that's fine i digress i feel like when it's halloween time all of these brands that make regular colored things like regular chocolate bars regular chips regular goldfish they all come out with spooky colors such as navy purple black things just so they could mark it up and maybe sell it to you for Halloween. That's what's called consumer marketing. Mm. Actually, I'm not sure if that is, and I don't know anything about anything. We're gonna go in there, browse, and maybe we'll even pick up some pumpkin decorations, but maybe they won't be purple. So let's go. This is exactly what I was talking about. Does that not look purple to you? Holy sh! That's absolutely purple. They wouldn't have this if it wasn't pumpkin season, if it wasn't Halloween time. I have reached officially the Halloween section. So I'm about to go in and look for everything purple. I feel like there's a lot of purple packaging so far. Like this one. I don't know if this is actually going to be purple. So I did find some nerds that are purple. But I just don't know if I want to get all of this just to take out the purple nerd. I don't know if this is actually going to be a good thing. Glow in the dark. I hope it's just the pack and not the food. 50% off. Should I get it? now or should i get it closer to halloween get it now okay okay how many bags do you think we need i'm not excited i'm not excited i'm upset yeah no <laughs> wheel her in just dump the whole just grab <laughs> so i think nerds and sweet tarts are a good mix i actually really love sweet tarts we're gonna get maybe one or two of these i always traded in for sweet tarts when i was younger and then these salad hats look good see i told you halloween is about purple i don't really love when people give away laffy taffies please don't be triggered but if you like laffy taffies leave it in the comments and tell me why you like it because i never understood it, it just feels like a lot of dentistry marketing so that you have to go to a dentist who wants these like bubble bubble thingies in there nobody really wants those so this one looks good i know all of these brands obviously we've got to get starburst and skittles mix this looks good trolley and friends with the lemon head sour gummy there's no gum in this one. Oh my god shut up you know that this is husband i need to go find a quiet place to be alone with this holy shit i'm gonna become stanley the giraffe Should I get this? This is really bad. I don't think anyone should be buying this for their kids. I just want to know how any of this is purple food, guys. Oh my god. Wait, is that a purple sky? Hold on, this is purple. Is the camera makes it weird, but it's purple. Whoa. Hey. Do you think this has anything to do with the fire? Leave it in the comments, guys, um, because we have no idea. That's really dark. Mango is really dark. <laughs> <laughs> Literally. Even the floor looks purple. Yeah. Oh. Are you going to eat the sky? I'm ready. <laughs> dun, dun. This is the first one. It's the purple nerds. I think I'm gonna eat one of these. They also have bottle caps that I was never into and Laffy Taffies. Oh shoot, Laffy Taffies, which by the way, is that a packaging revamp? Because it looks so much better than the old one. These are my favorite. One of my favorite candies are these freaking sweet tart balls. Okay, they have purple in this one. Sour gummies, these better be purple. I only got the good ones. Are you sneaker bars? What happened to Are you to kidding? The... Sour Patch Kids, Sour Bites, Honey, these are the Nerds. Candy I don't touch. These are the candies, these are the candies I candies go that for. These are the candies that expires on Valentine's Day. Who hates this? There's Kit Kats on There are Kit Kats? Yeah. Can I have one? Oh, I see what you're doing. Mm-hmm. You put all the shitty candy on top? No. So, I'm not doing anything. Can I get a Kit Kat? This candy. Honey, Kittles. Ooh, you like these? I hate these. These reminds me, you know there's vitamins that looks just like it and tastes just like it, right? Have you had those growing up? You hide all the goodies at the bottom. Not much goodie though. I sat at Target bragging about how I'm getting the good stuff on the vlog. I honestly think that these are the good stuff. Who wants chocolate during Halloween? Are the Sour Patch Kids? These better be purple. They're not purple. Oh, I found some purple ones. Mmm. <gasps> 
I don't know what he's talking about. This is about to turn into a science video because I am Stephanie the science dude. It's in a pink, black, and blue foods. And I was thinking, okay, I'll just do purple similarly where I just kind of try to find like the most purple ass things that I can in a grocery store. But then once I got there, I realized there really wasn't anything that was purple and Abyss is hungry. I've decided that I'm going to make shit purple. Essentially what I think that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna boil some beets in some water and then boil the dumplings in it. This could be really bad. I'm gonna get an eggplant. I'm gonna get an eggplant a bit. I'm gonna chop this up, season it a little bit, and I'm gonna throw in some of these beautiful carrots and we're gonna roast them in the oven along with a spaghetti squash. Super purple, throw in some dumplings, and hope that I can eat something. <laughs> it almost looks creepy. This is looking more and more like I'm not gonna be able to really eat much for dinner. So in the meantime, all of that is happening. Oh, I forgot to mention, I ruined my fucking eggplants. <laughs> they burnt, they got really gross because I decided to just completely forget about their existence. I'm gonna go in with some purple cereal. I need a, I need a pig me So we're gonna try this. Okay, let's throw it in here. Let me try this. I'm so hungry. All I ate so far after I got back is some freaking candy, which normally I would love, but. Let's try the purple marshmallow. I'm putting in a lot of milk, more than I normally would, because I'm trying to see what the color of the milk is gonna turn into. It's mother freaking blue. We're just going to edit that out. I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, I'm not. But I'm gonna let you guys know. It's kind of like a bluish, a purplish milk color. I'm gonna eat it. It tastes like nothing. It tastes like nothing and then at the end it tastes like just sugar. Normally I love guilty pleasure cereal like this. Look at me grabbing every single marshmallow I see. Cereal was somewhat of a success considering it's purple. But in terms of taste and consistency, it's a Halloween scam. Don't buy your kids. This is also having an identity crisis. At this point, everything I see is purple because I'm so hungry. So I'm gonna throw some dumplings in there. Let's even see if the color payoff works. On the bright side, these are my little roasted onions. They're purple and they're delicious. Honey? Oh. It's a purple carrot. To do some ASMR into my camera mic, a <coughs> real fucking. <coughs> really? It's purple. I'm really good. <laughs> now, moment of truth. Do you think it'll be purple? Yes or no? Honey, like, unless you add some crazy filter on this. Um. Do you think this is purple, honey? Just look through the camera, honey. Do you think it's purple? It's not purple. What about now? It's purple. <laughs> <laughs> have you heard of the, the joke? There used to be someone who sells uh, magnifying glasses. I have this glass that can make your carrots grow really, really, really fast. Oh, so you look through it. <laughs> That's what you're doing right now. Well, you know what? Can I try it? Tiger's not even interested today. <laughs> Stop eating candy! Honey, this is all Holy I have! Holy moly! I gotta lock these up. I have ordered some. We've got Dolly Lomas ice cream. Have you ever had the ice cream of a llama? You're just gonna eat sweets all day. Yeah, I should have just gone with purple rice. You know what? You're gonna put it in there. No? Mm -hmm. You're not gonna eat it together? Mm -hmm. Oh my god. It's a lot of ice cream, honey. <sighs> Nobody eats that much ice cream. Honey. Mmm. It's really good. It's a really good llama. What is it? Purple llama? The Dalai Lama. Wow. This is making me this feel is really good. so much better. 
It says franchise opportunities available. So guys, this video was sponsored by our opening location of the Dalai Lama. <laughs> I can't believe they say that on their back. They're trying to make it onto Shark Tank real quick. <laughs> That's going to be it for today's vlog. I feel like I really, really hyped y'all up in the beginning and it went really, really well until the end. I wanted to be special. I wanted to be unique. I was like, all of them? No way. I'm unique. I'm different. I don't need purple rice. I don't need that shit. And then look what happened. Apparently, I do need it. I desperately need purple rice. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know in the comments which one was your favorite purple food of the day. And I love you guys. Do you guys want to see a different food challenge? And next time, I won't do it so ASAP science -y. I love you and I'll see you tomorrow. Oh.